Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Zelk and welcome back to a wonderful episode of Smite Super Builds. And today we have Artemis, a requested build, uh, and a good one at that because the last one was like episode 20, maybe a few months ago. But yeah, uh, I guess this goes well with uh, Artemis being retextured. If you notice, her hair is not as blocky and a bit nicely green, but that's not the point. So let's go on with the uh, actives first. So actives typically all around in any game mode traditionally you get you know sprint and pure beads maybe an assault uh, you know you get salvation to help your team out that's recommended as well uh, but this is pretty much the, the core right here uh, now items it also varies on how you start as far as items and variety of game modes mainly conquest conquest you may want to start with you know um, go to start items get some deaths toll action uh, go into either I don't know you may want to go into boots after death toll. You may want to go into Aussie. You may want to go into other things like uh, stack items. Perhaps the Devourer's Gauntlet is a pretty good one. Now it's been you know reduced. It's a uh, you can get this pretty early. Or uh, speaking of stack items, you could probably also just go into um, Heart Seeker. So it's really up to you on which way to go with that as far as conquest and start items. I don't. I don't play hunters uh, in conquest, so I don't know the exact meta to go by. Uh, I'm sure you know somebody knows or put an answer in the comment section below, or you can look that up if you really want to. But we're gonna go uh, move on from there. Uh, we're gonna go, you know, worry tab. We're doing move on the shin size. Another thing, you know, conquest typically shin size is not seen that early. Shin uh, shin size is typically more of a mid mid game item. Um, Typically, in between that, you have you know uh, boots. Uh, you know, uh, if, I, if I can think of it, Devourer's Gauntlet. There we go, Devourer's Gauntlet. Maybe Executioner, but besides all the conquest talk, uh, traditionally, you know, boots, chin size, Executioner. We're gonna get Executioner now. That's been buffed with a passive um, by another one percent and another one point. In the end, that's quite a bit more. And we're gonna go with Aussie after that. Now, if you have Devourage Gauntlet, don't get Aussie. It's kind of a waste. Uh, you will lose a little bit of attack speed, but you can make that up somewhere else if you see fit, if you want to. So, Aussie, Rage, Deathbringer, two for the obvious reason. Now, Rage, uh, it got nerfed of its attack speed, so that's kind of why we get an Executioner now. Also, Executioner is just a beast if you can land your basic attacks. And, you know, uh, Rage did get buffed its first power, and Deathbringer is just Deathbringer. So let's go ahead and uh, test some damage out first on the minions. It's really nice, a flat 615, very, very fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. So our attack speed's not too bad. I mean, 1.9, and then with our 2, 2.5, which is the cap. So, I mean, that's a lot of power, plus with our uh, passive. Giving us, you know, more crit chance. It's really, really nice. So that makes up for the, you know, semi-low uh, power. Now your power would be a lot higher. Uh, granted, I do have red buff right now, uh, but still, you're, you have much more power if you get a stack item, and that's mainly, mainly, uh, just a conquest. You don't really want to get stack items anywhere else, uh, maybe because you're gonna be competing against mages, and competing against mages, you're just gonna lose as far as clearing lanes. Um, I mean, if you can get a lot of kills, then it kind of makes up. But besides that, I would not recommend getting a stack item. So, this is it. This is going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.